I'm Mass Barnkop from Kaiser Power Electronics. I would like to show you part one of my solar array project. Right here behind me I have uh, one of my 250 watt solar panels. Uh, so now I will show you my um, uh, battery charger setup, my batteries and also my 230 volt AC inverters. Um, unfortunately the sun has already set for today so uh, we will take a walk through the system, uh, the test setup and look at the software for the battery charger. So let's take a look at the parts. These are 250 watt panels. We can see the uh, marking plate here. So uh, yeah, I will uh, use uh, three of these panels in uh, parallel. I made a little um, jig here for uh, running wires, three parallel uh, panels, having each their um, fuse, um, and then a uh, a large fuse foam both and then a just a breaker. So this would uh, run over to my battery charger. So let's let's take a look at that. The battery charger is from uh, Wicktron Energy. I had to buy this from new. Uh, unfortunately I had a bit of, uh, yeah, I was not lucky with cheap Chinese uh, battery chargers. Uh, they never seem to work or keep up to specs. So I had to uh, pay out for a good quality one. Um, then I have my battery bank down here, that is uh, two, uh, if we can get down to see here, but those are 150 uh, amp hour batteries, 12 volts each, connected up in series for 24 volts, and for that I will use two of these inverters. 750 VA each, running from 24 volts, and yeah, that's basically the setup. Okay, so here we have a complete overview of the test setup. We have the inverter, uh, the battery charger, the inverter, and over here I have a 500 watt uh, halogen sp uh, light spot. So first of all, I did actually read the small quick start guide. So I, or the default value for the um, charging profile of the charger is set to 2, so that means once I power it up it should blink uh, in the middle LED here. It has uh, some blink codes um, when starting up. This is my first time starting it up. Uh, you can also see that I'm showing you the uh, app um, on my phone. So yeah, it will get uh, quite interesting to see um, if we can con connect to it straight away and uh, what kind of information it gives us. So let's just try to turn it on. It should uh, automatically um, detect the uh, battery voltage, so you don't even have to adjust that. So let's just try and press refresh on the phone here. Oh, there it is. So if I connect to it, it starts flashing. Mm -hmm. Let's see, wants me to update the software, yeah. Yep, so it's now uh, updating the firmware. It has been a while since I bought this, so uh, it's no surprise that it actually has uh, a new firmware update. I can see that the current version was 2.1 and it updates to 2.14. And I think the manual actually only states something about version 1.12. So it has actually gone a long way since the, the first writing of this manual. Uh, now. Um, what really makes this interesting is that it has all these different uh, battery profiles that it can charge after. It also has um, tracking algorithms and also have some uh, battery charging um, schemes and such depending on the uh, voltage. So I'm quite looking forward to see what that, this uh, charge controller can, can do. Okay, so let's continue. So that was quite easy to update the firmware.
Okay, another update. Yeah, I'm not quite sure what's happening here. Maybe I did not pay attention at the first firmware update, but now it's a complete different version. But now it seems to... Hmm. Yeah, well... So once I have this running, uh, I will uh, yeah, try to fire up the inverter and test the dummy load. So we will test it at a good 66% load of its max capacitor. And try to draw a little power from the battery bank. Um, the batteries uh, came from a, a base station um, for a cellular transmitter for the mobile network. Uh, so they should have uh, should be enough to charge. Uh, the guy I bought them from have uh, tested them with a battery tester, so they, they should be good. They did also measure uh, 26 volt DC when connected in series, so that's a good floating voltage. So, um, yeah, let's see, now it's firmware updated. Maybe now we can go into the unit itself. Certainly have to pay attention to all those blink codes because they come pretty fast and rapid. No. So here we can see the uh, 25.95 volt on the battery. It's not currently charging. It has a nice um, history. Quite a simple app. Um, so yeah, we'll have to wait to, to see what, what we can really do here. But we can see uh, the voltage um, dropping maybe when uh, turning on the inverter. So if I just first switch on the breaker to it and then we switch it in power on mode. So yeah, that's driving the uh, floodlight nice and easy. We can see the voltage <laughs> dropping uh, rapidly, but yeah, overall this uh, this is very nice. I'm I'm really surprised how easy it was to update the firmware and yeah navigate the app. I had only seen that I could get the list with uh, with no uh, entries in it. So yeah, I was looking forward to get a sunny day and hook up my solar panels and see. Uh, what kind of charging they can do with 750 watts of uh, charging power, which uh, actually should suit the um, 300 amp hour battery bank um, for a good six or eight hours charge time. So uh, yeah, you have to wait until part two. That was quite a successful test. So yeah, we can turn that off again. If you wonder why my Tesla setup is on the wall, it's because my work table is completely flooded. So yeah, it's on the wall now. So until next time, see ya.